Welcome back to the Wolf Pit. Today I'm making baked Chinese chicken wings. They're easy to make and they're sticky, sweet, and spicy. So let's get started. I'm going to be using a Cut Above's Cutlery new 8 inch stainless steel chef's knife today. This knife is made of full tang high quality 3CR13 stainless steel which is forged, heat tempered, and finely polished for durability and to stay sharper longer. It's also dishwasher safe on occasions which is a no-no with most other good knives. You can immediately feel the quality of this knife as soon as you unwrap it. It's heavy, but not too heavy, and it's absolutely perfectly balanced. The ergonomic handle is very comfortable and constructed of super resilient ABS 430 for durability and comfort. Other comparable knives cost $75 to $200 or more in some cases. This knife is extremely affordable already, but if you use the coupon code WOLFPIT10, you get $10 off to make it even more affordable. I'll leave the link and the coupon code for a cut above cutlery in the description box. Now let's put this knife to work. For the marinade for the chicken wings, I'm gonna need some minced ginger. So I'm gonna slice off a couple coins of ginger and then I'm gonna cut the skin off. And then cut it into thin strips. And then finally mince the ginger. Now peel four or five cloves of garlic. And then thinly slice it. and then chop it into a fine mince. For a full printable copy of this recipe and many more, visit the Wolf Pit blog. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe and come back every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday for new recipes and cooking videos. Now let's put the marinade together. In a large bowl, I'm gonna add soy sauce, Shaoxing Chinese cooking wine, or you can use dry sherry, oyster sauce, brown sugar, Sambal Olique, the minced ginger, the minced garlic, toasted sesame oil, and some star anise. Give this a good mix until the sugar is dissolved and then set aside. Now let's cut up our chicken wings with our chef's knife. First thing I'm going to do is remove the flap and then the drumette from the flap. And I've got to say, a Cut Above Cutlery's 8 inch chef's knife is extremely sharp and very comfortable to use. Continue this process until all your wings are separated. And don't throw these flaps away, use them for stock. And now combine the wings and the marinade. I'm just using a casserole dish, but you can use a gallon Ziploc bag as well. Make sure all the wings are submerged in the marinade and place them to the refrigerator for a minimum of two hours. Four to eight hours is even better. After the wings have marinated, place them on a raised rack and then they go into a preheated 400 degree oven for about 40 minutes. Now pour their leftover marinade into a saucepan and bring to a boil over a medium high heat. And then remove the star anise. Add a quarter cup of brown sugar, and then give it a good mix and let it boil for about five more minutes until it becomes nice and thick. And now baste the wings with the sauce. and then these go back into the oven under the broiler for about two to three minutes. Here's what they'll look like when they're done and they smell absolutely amazing. And there you have it, sweet and spicy Chinese chicken wings, sprinkled with some toasted sesame seeds and green onion. These were absolutely amazing and very easy to make. Thank you all very much for watching I hope you give these a try. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and come back every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday for new recipes and cooking videos.